the sanctified life, the will of God. Paul did not hesitate to enforce upon every suitable occasion the importance of Bible sanctification. He says, Ye know what commandments we give you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 2 and verse 3 Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Philippians 2 verses 12 through 15 He bids Titus instruct the church that while they should trust to the merits of Christ for salvation, divine grace dwelling in their hearts will lead to the faithful performance of all the duties of life. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no men, to be no brawlers, but gentle, shewing all meekness unto all men. This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. Titus 3 verses 1 through 8 Paul seeks to impress upon our minds the fact that the foundation of all acceptable service to God, as well as the very crown of the Christian graces, is love, and that only in the soul where love reigns will the peace of God abide. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonition one another, in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father of Him. Colossians 3 verses 12 to 17 The Sanctified Life Chapter 10 Christian Character